Well, if you don't believe in God, Brandon, then how do you explain the creation of the universe? How do you explain the creation of God? He's always existed. So is the universe. Bullshit. Why? Why is that harder to accept than an infinite God? There's no way that intelligent life could have formed so quickly without some kind of divine intervention. Oh, come on, Roger. Now, you can't honestly count someone like Jim here as intelligent life, can you? That's good. I'm impressed, Brandon. I mean, that's almost witty. Almost. I'm gonna get another drink. Like father, like son, huh? <laughs> Okay. How's he do this? Speak of the devil. Don't. I've had enough religious discussions for one night. What? Did you guys get here? Just walked in, man. Yeah. Well, you'd leave me out there with Linda's uh, law school chum? <laughs> Sorry. Priorities, man. <laughs> yeah. Jack first. Hello second. Yeah. Just drink it. Whatever is handy. Hey, Jim. Look, everybody's kind of fancy out there. You uh, sure we're not a little underdressed? No, man, I think they're a little overdressed. Yep. All right. Speaking of which, who's the guy in the $800 suit? It's Brandon Sinclair. Of the Sinclair Vineyards? Mm-hmm. Linda used to date him. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> So's he. Jealous? Jim. Hi, Lloyd. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hi. Well, I guess we'll go rinse out some things. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. Are you all right? I told you he was an asshole. I know you did. You gonna come back out to the party? In a minute. Look, you just can you just go play hostess and I'll try to come up with some clean jokes, okay? <laughs> okay. Jim. I love you. I know.
How can you believe in spirits if you don't believe in God or Satan? Well, there's been evidence of their existence. Eyewitness accounts, photographs, recordings, you name it. And I've contacted some of them. <laughs> With what, a Ouija board? Ouija. What? It's pronounced Ouija, not Ouija. It comes from the French and German words for yes, we oui and ya, ja, Ouija. And this is a planchette. I don't care what you call it, dude. It's just like a game, like checkers or chess. For your information, dude, the Ouija board has been around since recorded history. It was in wide use as far back as 540 BC. I guess if Barbie dolls have been around that long, you'd, you'd be talking to them too. <laughs> it beats talking to you. That's because I use words with more than one syllable. Oh, would you like to talk about that? Um, yeah. look, look guys, <laughs> why don't we, can we play with the game? That'd be fun. All right. Now, for the best results, the Ouija should be used by two people, preferably a man and a woman. And it shouldn't be sitting on a table. It should sit on our knees so there's as much body contact as possible. Also, the two people should have clean, pure systems so that the energy flowing through us to the planchette is as strong as it can be. Are you saying that the spirits actually come through our bodies? Oh, well, don't worry. It's perfectly safe. I don't think I quite understand what you mean by a clean system, though. Someone who doesn't smoke or drink like you? Care to give it a try? Um, no, I don't think so. No. Come, on. Come, on. come on. Oh, gee, come on, please. Give it a shot. All right. Oh, All right. right. Good. All right. Good. I don't smoke either, and I haven't been drinking tonight. So together, we should be able to make a clear, strong contact. I bet he wants a clear, strong contact. All right, one more thing before we begin. The spirits are lousy spellers, and a lot of them like to lie. So just to play it safe, I'm going to try to contact David, the spirit of a little boy who died about 30 years ago. You mean you've actually talked to the spirit before? Yeah, I've contacted him several times. For some reason, he is connected to this particular board. Why is that? Well, I don't know, really. It's just that every Ouija board seems to have its own dominant spirit. Maybe it's because this board was made the day David died. How do you know when that board was made? David told me. How do you know he wasn't lying? <laughs> you said they like to lie. Didn't you, didn't you say that? Uh, <laughs> I'd really like to try this. All right. David, are you here? Can you hear me? Can I talk to him? Yeah, go ahead. How old are you, David? Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye. Why did you stop? Uh, that wasn't David. Well, then who was it? I don't know. Like I said, they like to lie sometimes. How do you know it wasn't David? Well, David was 10 when he died, not 8. Besides, we have a special signal that no other spirit knows. Ooh, that's a little spooky. It's a little stupid. It's a lot stupid. <laughs> David, can you hear me? Would you like to talk to us? David, is that you? He's doing a figure eight. That's David's signal. Would you like to speak to him? Yeah, I would. David? I don't know what to say. <laughs> David, do you know me? <laughs> David, will you return to the living one day? Reincarnation? That's what they all say. 
David, will you be able to choose your parents when you return? Yes. Bullshit. <laughs> Why? You can't believe you were stupid enough to pick your parents? Hey, I don't talk to cardboard. <laughs> Careful, Jim. You're upsetting David. What's he gonna do? Haunt me? David, are you all right? Yeah, he's all right. He's just a little dead, that's all. Shut up, Jim! David, are you all right? I don't know. It's really racing. Yeah, maybe he's late. The last flight back to limbo. Sounded like a gunshot. Excuse me, folks. Pardon me. Oh, man. Multiple sadness. Who owns the Red Cobra? I do. Why? The tire's history, bud. Oh. Thanks a lot, Morar. What? <laughs> this is my fault? Those are brand new tires. Now, how do you explain it? <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe your buddy Casper did it. <laughs> That's right. Because you made him angry. Then why didn't he flatten my tire? Why? Because I was in control of the board. He held me responsible. You're crazy. You're drunk. <laughs> and you're a loser <laughs> in the great family tradition. But Jim! But Jim... Oh. Well, thank you very much for ruining the party. You're welcome. But don't worry. The night's still young. Are you serious? Look at me. I am furious with you right now. I know. And you're so gorgeous when you're angry. Look, don't joke when you're this close to death. Okay, okay. I, I'm sorry about the party, and I'm sorry about Brandon. And I'm sorry about the crisis in the Middle East. All right, that's it. Come on, come on. You knew you were taking a chance when you invited him. I know your heart was in the right place. It just didn't work out. Jim, you promised me that you weren't going to start anything with him. I kept my promise. He started it. What did you want me to do? Just sit there and take it? No, uh, I guess not. I really am sorry. What you doing? I lost my hammer. <gasps> Use mine. <laughs> it 
Sucker, you could have killed me. No, then you'd come back and you'd haunt me and flatten my tires and stuff. <laughs> flatten your <laughs> tires. Sit down, sit down. Wow. Linda's putting Twinkies in my lunch. Ms. Brewster, this is Dr. Jellino's office calling. We have the results of your test back from the lab. You can call us today until 12.30. Hello, Linda. This is Brandon. I just realized I left my Ouija there the other night. Could you bring it to class this Friday? I'm having some friends over Sunday, and they want to use it. Besides, I want to contact David and see if he's calmed down yet. Well, I'll see you Friday. Bye. David, are you here? David, is that you? David, do you remember me? David, is it true that you can really choose your next parents? Do you know why I'm asking? David, would you like to? No, how come? J I M Jim? What, you don't like Jim? Well, Jim's a really nice guy. Boy, David, you should know how to hold a grudge, don't you? David? David, are you here? David, where are you? Man, don't tell me you bought that crap with Brandon and that board. Oh, please. What do you... You see spaz written on this man anywhere? Please. So how'd the board jump off their knees? I don't know, man. He probably kicked it. He always was about as clever as a bag full of doorknobs. <laughs> what is it with you guys, anyway? Linda, I guess. At least that's when the friendship ended. You guys were friends? Best friends. When we were kids. Get out of here. Yeah, I practically grew up at Brandon's house. Both my folks were alcoholics, and uh, I didn't want to spend too much time at home. Thinks I stole Linda from him. Did you? No. No. <laughs> I didn't even know they knew each other. I'd been off at med school, and when I met her, they'd already broken up. You went to med school? Didn't know I was such a multifaceted dude, did you? <laughs> I didn't know you had more than one brain cell, James. What are you doing here? Loafing, come on. Lunch is over. Oh, Daddy, please. Come on, I want to finish this house this month. You are bringing me way down, bud. You're a lazy scumbag, you know that. Employment means nothing to me, pal. Here? 
Oh, it's nice to see you made it back. My diamond ring? You know where it is? Where? D R A N Drain. You mean drain? Like a sink drain? Which sink? The kitchen? The bathroom. Thanks, David. Christ, don't ever sneak up on me again. Fuck! Shit! Fuck. What are you doing, home? I live here. What are you up to? I found my ring. Remember the one that I lost when we moved in? See? And that's such a monumental event that you started swearing? Your language, babe. I think gosh and darn are the strongest words I've ever heard you use. And when'd you take up plumbing? You're never going to believe this. David, he oh, told me. Oh, David who? Do you remember David, the spirit of the little boy? Oh, you, I don't need to hear this shit now. Jim. What's, what's the matter? They closed the site early today. There was an accident and... Lloyd, uh... Lloyd got killed. There was a load of sheetrock and it wasn't secured properly and it it fell. I've never liked you doing that job. It is so dangerous. Everything is dangerous.
Mr. Morar. My name is Dewhurst. Right. Lieutenant Dewhurst. Police? Homicide. I didn't know Fairfield had a homicide division. I'm it. I'm also the bomb squad and the truancy division. Do you like magic? What? Magic, you know, card tricks, sawing ladies in half. Magic. Yeah, I guess. Me too. I always wanted to be a magician. I don't have the hands for it. I'm not uh, dexterous enough. Then how do you defuse bombs? I don't know. No one's ever planted a bomb here. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lieutenant? I'm investigating Mr. Salvador's death. You ever been to Vegas? No. Why? They got these two guys there, Sigmund and Roy. I mean, they are the best magicians I have ever seen, without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, they do some really amazing things. You know, there's only one thing I like better than seeing a good magic trick. It's trying to figure out how it was done. Lieutenant, we're not really talking about magic here, are we? I believe Mr. Salvador was murdered. The ropes holding the sheetrock on the scaffolding were cut. Apparently, there's some kind of a hatchet. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. Now, did he have any enemies? No. None that I know of. I understand that you were with him when the sheetrock fell. Now, is there any chance that the killer could have been aiming for you? I don't think so. Were there any other witnesses? No, no, I'm afraid not. Then you lost your hatchet that same day. I, I lost my hammer. But it has a blade on one side, right? Have you found it yet? No. No, I had to buy a new one. Just vanished into thin air, huh? Nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> Touche. I'm sorry for intruding here. Jim, you didn't tell me you were with him. I didn't think it was important. Is it important? It could have been you. It, it was just an accident. That's all. It was just an accident. Can we go? Yeah, well, the lieutenant's not too sure about that. Neither am I. David, did you cause that accident at the site? David, don't lie to me. Are you still angry at Jim? David? David? You were supposed to bring my Ouija by class yesterday. Oh, God, I am so sorry. I completely forgot it. I went to the funeral with Jim. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, well, how's he taking it? Well, he's sleeping right now. That figures. Brandon, that's not even fair. Isn't it? Tell me, did he cry at the funeral? Face it, Linda. The man has ice in his veins. I've known him since I was seven, and I've never seen him cry once. Not for anybody or anything. Brandon? How many times have you contacted David? David? 
quite a few times. Why? Well, have you ever seen him get that angry? No, never. Look, did we just change subjects when I wasn't looking? Brandon, look, I'm getting a little worried. I've been using the Ouija. Alone? Yeah, why? Linda, listen to me. Hello? Hello? Brandon? Hello? Hello. God damn it! How many times have I told you not to sneak up on me? God, look, I'm sorry. Next time I'll wear a bell. Why don't you just rattle your fucking head next time? What the hell's eating you? I don't know. I'm so scared. I feel like I'm going crazy. It's all right. It's going to be all right. I'm pregnant. Are you sure? I mean, did you see a doctor? I already know. I have an appointment on Monday, but I've been having morning sickness all week. Well, no wonder. No wonder you're a nervous wreck. You're not going crazy. You're just becoming a mother. <laughs> Granted, it's almost the same thing. You're not upset? No. No. <sighs> of course not. God, I love you. I know. you love me, even though you don't know it, I know it. I'm giving the boy back to Brandon today. I've already made up my mind, David. There's nothing you can do about it. Thank you.
what are you doing here? I tried to call, but your phone was dead. And you drove all the way out here to tell me that? No. I want to ask you something about Linda. You want to know if she snores? Should have known better. Hey! Hey! Jesus, man, you used to have a sense of humor. Okay, can you be serious for one minute, please? I'll give it a shot. Has Linda been acting strange lately? She hasn't been to a single one of her classes all week. What do you mean, strange? I mean, like, uh, nervous tension, insomnia, nausea, any kind of erratic behavior. How did you know? Has she been swearing a lot? Like a truck driver. I think Linda's been using my Ouija. No. <laughs> All right. All right, I know you think this is a crock of shit, but just bear with me for a minute, please. Okay. All right, when someone uses a Ouija alone, like Linda, she's very susceptible to the spirits she contacts. And the wrong spirit will take advantage of this. At first, he'll be extremely helpful and friendly so that she's lured into using the board more and more. Pretty soon, all she wants to do is use the board. Everything else, like going to classes, becomes unimportant. This is called progressive entrapment. When she reaches this stage, the spirit changes. He starts to frighten and terrorize her, gradually breaking down her resistance. And once that's done, he's able to possess her. So what you're telling me is that I'm living with Linda Blair. Damn it, Jim, I'm serious! <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's what makes it so funny. I thought you were an atheist, man. Look, I'm not saying that it's a demon. Just the spirit of someone evil. Evil when he was alive and evil now that he's dead. I want to bring a medium by your apartment as soon as possible to exercise the spirit. <laughs> You're serious? Jim, how do you think I knew all those things about Linda? Those are all symptoms of progressive entrapment. They're also all symptoms of pregnancy. What? Linda's pregnant. I want to be a father. Terrific. Come on, Brandon. I mean, can't you be happy for us? Gonna marry her? Yeah. Of course. You don't even love her. Let me tell you something. You haven't talked to me in two years, so don't stand there and tell me how I feel. I know you better than you think I do, Jim. I know why you dropped out of med school. Does Linda? Because you knew you'd make a lousy doctor. Because you're not capable of giving a shit about anyone but Shut yourself. Shut up, Brandon. And when you get tired of Linda, you're gonna walk away from her, too. Shut up, Brandon. Just like you did with school. Just like you did with your parents. Just like you did with... Shut up! Jim? What? There's a phone call for you in the foreman's trailer. Take a message. I'm busy. It's your landlady, man. It's something about Linda. Is she all right? Hello? Jim, this is Mrs. Moses. Is Linda all right? Well, she's fine now, but she was scared awfully bad. Well, let me talk to her. Is she there? Yeah, just a minute. Jim? I'm right here, babe. It was David. David? Yeah. Jim, he used to be so nice, but... I don't know, I'm just so scared. 
It's all right, babe. I'm on my way home. And I'll take care of it, I promise. All right? All right, bring your medium by tonight. Jim, this is Arabeth, the best medium in Northern California. Hi. Thanks for coming. No prop. <laughs> hey, nice place. But uh, you got yourself one gnarly spirit here. I can feel it. See? Hair standing up on my arm. Mm -hmm. This is your expert. Where'd you find her? The circus. Okay, so she's a bit strange. But a she bit came... strange. Her head looks like a friggin' rainbow. You must be Linda. Uh, L Linda, this is Sarah Beth. She's a medium. A bitchin'. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I prepared everything like he said to. Top-notch job, Jim. <laughs> Let's get the show on the road. I can't believe you did all this while I was sleeping. Okay. I'm gonna make contact now, so whatever happens, stay in your seat, all right? If you stand or talk, the contact might be broken. Oh, bummer. I forgot my crystal ball. Psychic humor, I don't really have a crystal ball. <laughs> Should we hold hands or something? Nah. <laughs> it's just in the vampire movies. <laughs> anyway, my nails are too grody. Okay, let's talk to some ghosts. <clears throat> Frightening her. She hurt me. She won't talk to me anymore. Because of him. Jim. He is cruel. You are cruel, David. Linda fears you. I'm sorry. I was angry. I... I love you. Linda no longer wishes to speak to you. I'm taking the Ouija home with me tonight. I know. The woman you are speaking through is a psychic. She has the power to exorcise you from this apartment. No. to harm anyone. Goodbye. 
David, why? Goodbye. David, wait! Linda, don't! Brandy, catch the lights, huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sarah, but thank you. Too cool. But I didn't do it. David left on his own. Yeah, well, he sure knows how to make a dramatic exit. Well, maybe I react a little too quick. What? I don't know, maybe I should have given him more of a chance, you know? I mean, he's not evil, he's just, he's just like a little boy. No way. No way. He's taking this thing home now, and that's it. Believe me, Linda, we did the right thing. Oh, for sure. I mean, that was one nasty ghost. Good thing the exorcism didn't happen. Huh, would have been Mondo tough. <gasps> I see a vision. What is it? Me, in your car, going home. <laughs> Just some more psychic humor. <laughs> Come on, Brandy, let's hit the musky dust. T-T-F-N. T-T-F-N? Uh, ta-ta for now. Thanks for letting me bring her. Don't mention it. To anybody. did a good job tonight, thank you. You ever heard of the word Malfader before? Malfader? It's Portuguese, it means someone evil. Why? Was David Portuguese? No, I don't think so. And he was only 10 years old? Yeah. Whoa. He must have taken some mega vitamins, because he's a real toughie. Something's bothering you. What is it? I see danger ahead. For Linda? For you. If you miss my house. <laughs> it's coming up on the right. <laughs> a little more psychic humor, huh? <laughs> Something is really hinky. Like what? I'm not sure. Stay by the phone, and I'll call you later on tonight after I do the Nancy Drew bit. <laughs> TTFN.
Police are calling it the worst traffic accident in the county's history. An accident of a different sort claimed the life of a Fairfield woman late last night when she fell to her death from a second floor window. The victim, Sarah Crawford, claimed to be a psychic and worked as a professional medium under the pseudonym of Zerabeth. Police officials will not divulge whether the death was suicide or murder, but a full-scale investigation is presently underway. Thank you, Stu. Lee will be back with weather right after this. Yeah, who is it? Jim, it's Brandon. We have to talk. All right, I'll buzz you up. Okay, but meet me in the upstairs lobby. What's up? Where's Linda? She's asleep, man. Why? Come here. Sarah Beth is dead. What? Someone or something pushed her out a window. Jesus Christ. She suspected something about David. She was going to check on it. I think David killed her. Wait a minute, man. The spirit killed her? Yes, and I think he cut your phone line, too, so I couldn't warn Linda about the Ouija, and he probably killed Lloyd. But that time, I think he was after you. Man, are you listening to yourself? You're telling me that there's a 10-year-old ghost flying around Fairfield killing people. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but I am sure that I'm right. Well, assuming that you are, I mean, why did, would he wait till now? You contacted him long before Linda. No, I've never been alone. I've always had people with me when I use the Ouija. Well, okay, so you took it home, is... No. I checked the box this morning. No Ouija. Man, that's impossible. I boxed it myself. Well, maybe Linda removed it when you weren't looking. She's obsessed with it, Jim. That means that she's already fallen into progressive entrapment. Well, then I just have to find the damn thing and get rid of it. That's too late for that. Linda is so open now. I don't think David needs it anymore. You told me that that's where he got his power. It's just a portal, you see. Uh, most spirits are trapped in their own world and they can't enter ours without some kind of help like a medium or a Ouija. Or someone that's been opened by progressive entrapment. Yes. You're telling me that Linda is a portal for David. Eventually, he'll possess her unless we can stop him. That's why I'm going to Big Bear. What's in Big Bear? That's where David claims he died. Now, I have to go there and check out his story. We can't fight him unless we know exactly who he is and how powerful he is. I mean, for all I know, he's been lying to me since the first time I contacted him. You really going up there? I have to. I feel responsible. What, are you gonna leave now? Yeah, as soon as I can get back, you keep an eye on Linda. Brandon. Listen, man. Look, I don't know. I don't know if I buy all this. But good luck. David, are you here?
David, have you come back? Mrs. Moses, call an ambulance. Why? What happened? Linda's hurt. She's unconscious. What do you want from me? You know, I don't think I've got the dexterity to be a juggler either. My, my, that was rude. I got a D in manners. How well did you know Sarah Crawford, AKA Zara Beth? Why, was she into card tricks? I don't know. But she managed to get her throat slit before she went through her window. That's a pretty neat trick in anybody's book. What do you think her throat was slit with? A hatchet? Whatever it was, her throat matched the ropes that were cut on the construction site. Have you found your hammer yet? No. I guess it just vanished. <laughs> you know, I saw this magician once. He managed to make an entire elephant disappear. An entire elephant? That's no mean feat, either. Just a tiny elephant's pretty tough just to stick up your sleeve. Of course, I know that he didn't really make that elephant vanish into thin air. He just managed to hide it someplace. Mr. Morar? Yes? I'm Dr. Gillenew. Is Linda all right? Your diagnosis was right on the nose, a mild concussion. That must have been quite a fall. Yeah. How's the baby? Linda missed her appointment yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to tell her, but she's not pregnant. But she's had, she's had morning sickness all Nevertheless, week. I'm sorry. Can I see her? Sure, but she's still unconscious. going with you. What's our first move when we get there? The Big Bear Public Library. Why? Why not? Oh, well, as long as you've got a reason. Hello. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me enlarge it. Bingo. A gasoline explosion aboard a small motorboat claimed the life of 10-year-old David Simpson early yesterday morning. Funeral services for David, the only child of John and Betty Simpson, will be held this Saturday at the Green Meadows Cemetery. Well, now we know David's telling the truth. We still don't know why he's terrorizing Linda. How do we find that out? We ask his parents. Damn it! There's not one listing for John or Betty Simpson. The article said David was buried at the Green Meadows Cemetery. Yeah, so? So maybe the caretakers got their address on an invoice. Jesus, don't do that to me, all right? <laughs> Sorry, man. Look, nobody's home. Place is locked up. Damn it. I guess we're just gonna have to come back tomorrow. You know, as long as we're here, I'm gonna check out David's grave. Why? Why not? Oh, Jim, don't! Jim? Jim? Where are you? Arrested for grave robbers. Where were you? I found somebody I want you to meet. Who? David's parents. Look at the date, man. David's parents died on the same day, less than two weeks ago. Must have been some kind of an accident. What if it wasn't? I'm gonna try and get some sleep. I've gotta get out to the dock first thing in the morning. I don't suppose you have an extra toothbrush in that bag. 
I'm afraid not. Damn, I hate talking to ghosts with plaque on my teeth. <laughs> Little psychic humor. God, why are we laughing? It helps us forget how scared we are. What happened to us, man? We used to be like brothers. I don't know, things change. People change. I didn't steal her from you, you know that. I know. Just that every time I see the two of you together, I go crazy. Start saying stupid things and I can't stop. I tell myself, Brandon, stop being such an asshole. But then my mouth pops open and out comes another stupid remark. You're still in love with her. I envy you that. You remember what you said about me quitting med school? Jim, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Oh, no, you were right. You know what I'm afraid of more than anything else? That I'll never be able to love anyone. And that I'm gonna end up spending the rest of my life alone. If I had any real guts, I'd get out of her life before she wastes any more of her time on me. So tell me, what does she see in you that she didn't see in me? I make her laugh. So did I. Yeah, but only in the bedroom. Take it. Let's go. Oh, man. Haven't we seen enough of these? We don't need it to contact David. Man, I got a real bad feeling about this. What are you doing, man? I thought we had to put this thing on our knees. Not this time. Since this is where David died, contact with the spirit should be very strong. Not too strong, I hope. Don't worry. If I'm right about Linda being his portal, she's too far away for him to reach us. What if you're wrong and the Ouija's the portal? I mean, we're gonna be opening the door if we use this thing. I'm not wrong. Linda is his portal. David can't hurt us here. We're too far away. Besides, he can't do anything while she's sleeping. She's under sedation, right? 
Linda, I think you should stay and let us run some more tests. Oh, no, I, I feel fine. I, I just want to go home now. Thanks. David, why are you terrorizing Linda? And O? And O what? T. N O T. Not? David, do you mean you're not terrorizing Linda? Then who is? Evil. What the hell does that mean? You were at Jim's party, weren't you? And you flattened my tire? Right, David, now this is very important. Please tell us the truth. Did you kill Lloyd at the construction site? And you didn't kill Zarabeth. But you did speak to us through her. No. And who the hell did we talk to? Again with the evil. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I have it. David, is this evil? Another spirit. Is this spirit powerful? Did it force you out of Jim's apartment? Is this spirit's name Malfador? Then Linda never actually contacted you all the time she was using my Ouija. All right, uh, all right then who's Malfador? That's what we're going to find out. David, who is Malfator? Her. Who is her? David, do you mean Linda? Well, then who is her? What's wrong? I don't know. He's agitated. Be careful. David, are you all right? What's the matter? Hey, didn't you say they were lousy spellers? That's right. David, did you misspell the word? Malfador. H. E. R. What happened? I lost him. It happens sometimes. David. Can't you get him back? I don't know. David. What is he trying to spell here? I don't here? know. David. H-E-R-E. Here. Malfader is here. But he can't be. That would mean that...
Brandon. Brandon! God. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. David? David, where are you? David, what have you done with Jim? David, answer me, goddammit. Carlos Malfader was a fairly notorious mass murderer in his day. He killed nine people, chopped them all up with an axe. Whatever happened to him, is he still alive? No, the police finally caught up to him around 1930. Shot him down in his own home. Yes, I'd like to speak to Linda Brewster. She's a patient in room 310. No, no, 375. 
It's an emergency. What? When? Linda, I'm trying to help you. Fine, then stop moving. James, what are you waiting for? I know. I love you. Jim? God, Linda. It's not that easy, James. Down to your apartment. Now! Good. Understand you left quite a mess up there in Big Bear, Mr. Morar. Dewhurst, listen. It's not what you think. Listen to me. Don't. Li Miss Brewster, can you stand? James. I could shoot her in the leg. 
That won't change anything. It'll buy us some time. Time to fight you. Time for Linda to close the portal. Only you can do that, James. Put it down. Put it down! You're so smart. You haven't figured it out yet, have you, James? You're the portal, not Linda. You're the one I opened. You're the one I terrorized by torturing Linda and by killing your friends. Linda's mine as long as you live. Bullshit. Bullshit. You tried to kill me. No. Just to scare you. You're the portal, James. You want to save Linda? That's right. You got the means right there in your hands. Go ahead, James. Close the portal. But you won't. You can't. You don't love her that much. Not that much. Linda. Is she worth it, James? Is anybody really worth it? Think about it. I now pronounce you man and woman. You may kiss the bride. Ouija board. <laughs> Gee, I haven't seen one of these since I was a kid. I didn't know they'd been around that long. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it still works. With all those holes in it? You know me love